um, congratulations on your on your BCG offer. Um, so, how did you feel uh, when you received the happy news? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, well, excited and relieved. Uh, they, they called shortly after the end of the interview, actually, and then I just they, off, they extended me the offer, and I was like, "Yeah, why do I sign? Uh, perfect. It sounds good." Uh, <laughs> So, so I, I think no, you could no time to think about it. No, not at all. I had done all the thinking beforehand, uh, so it's just uh, ready to sign. And uh, and I think it was what uh, not more than two hours after my interview ended, I had signed the contract and uh, returned it to to the BCG office. So it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so that might that might be a uh, uh, that might be a record for my man. <laughs> I've never heard of such a, <laughs> such a quick turnaround. <laughs> No, but sounds sounds great. So, um, how did you experience the whole process of of interviewing with BCG, uh, with the different uh, uh, interviews and cases you had, the consultants you met? How would you describe it? Um, it's a good question. I think I would describe it as uh, in, in sort of in two steps. Before the interviews, uh, I was. Uh, 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 nervous is maybe not the right word, but but to some degree nervous and excited. Uh, yeah. And then as soon as the interview started, all for, uh, in in each round, it was just uh, very pleasant. I would say. I mean, they were really nice, and and they uh, all of the all of the interviews were really good at uh, interviews. Sorry, were really good at making me feel comfortable and making sure that I was on the same page as them. And so that was uh, that was a really good experience overall. And with regards to to the cases. Um, I think um, two of them were, were pretty standard, so to speak, just the uh, diagnostic cases. So finding out something <laughs> happened, yeah, yeah, why and what to do about it. Yeah. And then the, uh, the the other half of it, they were um, they were not wild cards, but there was something like, oh, how do I do this? This is not directly a profitability case. This is yeah. not directly a, a growth case, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but still, I just. Re Refer to to the logic and instead of an, uh, a bucket uh, bucket list as, as we've talked about many times. So yeah. so it really it really helped me in this. Um, if uh, if I, to put some words on on the patterns in case, I would say that in the first round they were more focused on the hard skills you can say. So mm -hmm. doing the math, doing it quickly, and uh, more business to win. In second round with more senior people, it was seemed to me that it was more my thought process and creativity uh, that was uh, what they were looking for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. um, which makes sense, right? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, once, you've, once you've shown the quote-unquote hard skills, right, then it's like, okay, let's look a little bit more under the hood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So, um, if you think back uh, of the time when you started with the preparation, mm -hmm. right, uh, for these interviews, um, what would you say? What were the main challenges you were running into, and uh, what led you to then speak, uh, yeah, professional, or uh, that to then seek professional help? Mm. Um, I think uh, answering your your, your second question first, uh, what led me to, to seek professional help from from you was that uh, being a non-business uh, student, I felt like I had a disadvantage uh, compared to business students, uh -huh. and the professional coaching was for me a way to kind of even out that disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, they can also do it, but but if, for me, uh, that was a long way from, from what I usually do uh, in my studies and whatever I had been doing before. Yeah. Uh, more concrete on, on my challenges, I think that one of my biggest challenges was that I was thinking like a student and not like a consultant, uh, as you've said to me numerous yeah. times. And yeah. that is especially, um, especially uh, came out in the way I communicated. Um, and that that I think that's where I've made the most progress in how I communicate in an interview setting and in a professional setting. And I'm, it's not only in, in an interview uh, situation, but basically everywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, pre the precision in the language, right? And, exactly. And, uh, essentially not expecting the other person to read your mind and to understand half of the stuff that you don't even say. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Then, then, and indeed, yeah. This was. I remember. This was one of the things we were really, really uh, uh, focusing on, uh, which is which is key to uh, to success, right? Exactly. Because, um, uh, as I always uh, emphasize, it's not only about being really smart and being analytical. You also have to bring this across because, at the end of the day, this is how you're assessed, right? You're assessed based on what comes out of your mouth. 
and not mm. based on what you write down. <laughs> exactly, and I think that's that's what actually surprised me the most, most both both about a. Uh, uh, maybe the interview itself, that it's, it's so much about how you say it, not only what you say, but how you say yeah. it, but also it surprised me a lot that that, that was actually my main uh, takeaway fr from you. I mean, yes, of course, uh, the logic or structure, how we should put it, was also very, very key, but I, I had no idea that communication was that major uh, a component of this, and, and especially not that I had a problem with it, actually. I yeah. thought that was pretty good at communicating beforehand, yeah. but I found out that I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, because you see exactly because communication in a general setting, right? How how uh, quote unquote normal humans communicate with each, each other. This very high context, right? A lot of stuff is not explicitly expressed in the language, right? Exactly. And uh, if you are a good communicator in general, it doesn't mean that uh, you are or that you that you have naturally what it takes in order to communicate in a consulting context where you need to be super precise super explicit on the things where usually you would think yeah everybody knows what i mean but no not mm. everybody knows what you mean <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> awesome so um now uh, apart from the from the communication uh, uh topic right mm. when you think about how we establish the basics of uh yeah rigorously addressing uh, strategic questions. Um, what would you say, how, how important has this been in order to, to, to be really robust in approaching these questions? You already mentioned that you had some questions where mm, you had to think about how to approach it, but the logic helped you to approach mm. them. So what, would, uh, what would you say, how important has this foundation been? For me, extremely important, but I also came in uh, fairly clean slate, so I didn't have anything else to, I mean, I looked through uh, for the usual case books and I was like, this is, I can remember all these frameworks and, and how how to identify which one to use and you yeah. know, getting getting this logic in that, okay, we have to focus on the question and nothing else but the question yeah. uh, has, has really helped me uh, in that. I mean, yes, then we have talked about there are three main uh, main ways of looking at, at cases or different types of cases but mm -hmm. but but still the the main logic is the same across all these three is focused on the question and only the question yeah. and yes. that logic has really really helped me because once i just i mean my process in the interviews was to to really clearly state the question not just repeating the prompt but mm -hmm. focusing in on the objective as you always yep. always uh, told me too as well <laughs> uh, and this has really uh, really helped me a lot uh, yep. especially also in, in in the cases i mentioned that were yeah a yep. bit odd because i mean one of them was assessing a strategy of, uh, i've never done this before how to do it and then yep. oh okay so what is actually the question here is it have you met the goals in strategy and then moving on from there exactly and usually it's just about asking one or two clarifying questions to the exactly. interview. Because if you remember, I always told you, help the interviewer becoming more clear in what he's asking for. Exactly, yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, so uh, great, great stuff. And this is, this is something that I really also emphasize uh, uh, <laughs> with my mentees, because at the end of the day, none of these things are rocket science, as you, as you saw, exactly. right? It's just you need to develop this focus, develop this rigor in thinking, and just root everything in the question that you're trying to answer. Exactly. And then all of a sudden, even the odd questions seem pretty straightforward. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Cool, awesome. So uh, you will join the Copenhagen office, right? Mm, yeah. So did you already settle on a, uh, on a start date? Yeah, 20th of uh, September, uh, 2021. Okay. So, yeah. cool. Half a year, almost to the date. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, which is which is good, right? Because yeah. uh, this will give you enough time to essentially, first of all, relax a little bit, right? Uh, get mentally into the state, mm -hmm. uh, and then, I mean, hopefully by then, uh, also uh, the situation uh, with COVID uh, will have <laughs> relieved a little bit, so hopefully, that maybe you yeah. can have a normal start in the office, right? <laughs> which yeah. would be great. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. So, yeah, congratulations again. It's a great achievement, right? Uh, um, uh, as I said, make uh, or take the best use of the time before you start, uh, and then once you start, uh, best of success. But I think with the skill set that you acquired, there's no question that you will perform well on the job. Hopefully not. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Cheers, man. Cheers.